Hi there, and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and welcome to the Robot Weekly Update number 12. This week we're going to do something slightly different and have a look at 13 fascinating farming robots that will feed humans of the future. Lucy, where are you? Come on, we've got some farming to do. Lucy, where are you? Oh, there you are, Lucy. Oh, hello. Come on, Lucy. Let's go, let's go. We've got farming to do. We've got farming. 13 fascinating farming robots. Among other predictions, the TV has always offered us some clues about the future of farming. Long story short, it's all about the robots. From field scouting drones to robotic harvesters, the industry that keeps you fed is becoming totally dominated by autonomous machines. Starting with the Blue River Lettuce Bot 2, this highly popular robot attaches to a tractor and thins out lettuce fields. It can also spray insecticide and weed the rows between crops. Argobot SW6010, this machine picks strawberries with alarming speed and efficiency. Sensors on the robotic arm can actually tell which berries are ripe and which aren't, based on the shape and size of the unpicked berries. It even packs them in boxes. Autonomous Tractor Sprint, the all-electric sprint hay mower by Autonomous Tractor mows and hay like nobody's business. It's advertised as being 25% more energy efficient and looks highly robotic. Conic System Pro 300. Although it looks like some sort of manufacturing device, the Pro 300 from Conic Systems is actually a highly specialized sewing robot for greenhouses. Need some seeds sewn in some trays? This machine can sew 1,000 trays an hour. Energy Citrus Picking System. This big but low cost orange picking gadget can clear an orange tree for as little or less than what a human labour would cost. That means picking an orange every two to three seconds, which might sound slow, but remember, this robot never gets tired. Clear Path Robotics Grizzly. This Grizzly doesn't have a cab because the all-terrain robot doesn't need a driver. The electric vehicle does the work of a super smart tractor. With attached sensors, it can actually smell where cows have peed and treat the grass automatically so that it regrows. ASI Forge Platform. This slim robotic platform can accommodate over 100 attachments, everything from a drill to a forklift. That makes the ASI Forge Robotic Platform useful across many industries, but especially helpful in tight farming situations like orchards or vineyards. Vision Robotics Grapevine Pruner. Pruning is an essential, if tedious, task when maintaining healthy grapevines, but this robot will do it for you. On the outside, it looks like a big blue box, but on the inside, there are grapevine snipping arms that only look a little bit scary. Woolye. Woolye is also a grapevine pruning robot, except Woolye is much cuter than its competitors. Agrobotic Hornet. This field scouting drone does it all. Not only does it fly missions autonomously and record videos of the fields, it also has infrared sensors that can measure the health of the crops from above. Precision Hawk Lancaster. The Lancaster platform not only boasts visual sensors, but also thermal, multispectral, hyperspectral, and LiDAR technology. The artificial intelligent drone can even land on its own and on water, as well as change its course mid-flight based on wind patterns. Harvest Automation HV100. Need a greenhouse friend slash helper? Then the Harvest Automation HV100 is for you. This tiny little guy is designed to work alongside people placing plants where they need to be placed, like a farm bred anti-rumba. Cucumber Harvester. Much like the strawberry picker, this smart robot can spot ripe cucumbers on the vine and carefully pick them off. What's extra impressive is that this futuristic technology was developed way back in 2002. It seems that the farming industry has been preparing for a robot revolution for quite a while now. That's it guys for weekly world robot farming news. I'm your host, Philip English. 
If you like this week's report and want to see even more of the latest news, reviews and robotic tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date. I'll put further information about the farming robots in this weekly update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like me to do a review on or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.